Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon, if you've never been here before. And on YouTube, I post videos on parenting, pregnancy, motherhood, TTC. I have some cooking and cleaning videos and also some hair things because I'm a hairstylist of 10 years. So I do have some industry related content on this platform as well. I also have an Instagram and on my Instagram, I have some safe stories on some really cool, innovative baby products, some must haves. Um, I've got some pregnancy updates and um, outfit of the days and some newborn life and postpartum things. So if you're on this video, I figured that might interest you as well. So I will leave a link to follow me down in the description box. So today's video is going to be a breastfeeding starter kit. Um, little backstory, I have a 10 year old son who I tried to breastfeed but didn't make it very far. I was very young and wasn't really set up for success with it and now 10 years later I'm five weeks postpartum with another little boy and we've been having a really great time with breastfeeding. I'm a little more prepared, I did a little more research and I was really determined when I was pregnant to not fail again and not repeat the same thing that happened with my first. So I bought everything that had to do with breastfeeding and boobs in general and I spent a lot of money and didn't use a lot of it. So I'm going to share the things that I did use that were really helpful, especially for going back and forth between mom and a bottle. Um, my little boy had some jaundice and had to be under the light and we didn't have to bottle feed him we were able to you know take him out for a little while and breastfeed him but it was the recovery was going to go a lot faster if we did bottle feed him so we decided to go ahead and feed him with a bottle while he was under the bilirubin lights so we had a a little bit of difficulty going back and forth but i've got some really good tips to help you succeed in um, going back and forth between mom and bottle. So I'm gonna start from the beginning with the things I used right away, day one, even in the hospital, and that is a syringe. <laughs> so um, baby was having, I don't know why I keep calling him baby, his name is Preston. I didn't know his name for the longest time. My husband picked the name on the day he was born. So I still, six weeks later, find myself just calling him baby. <laughs> but anyway, so Preston um, had a little bit of a hard time latching right off the bat. I mean, he's a brand new baby. He's never done this before. So your baby might be the same way. And we used syringes to feed him. So I would express milk into a little cup or I would pump it into um, a bottle and then we would take it up with this. And at that point it was just colostrum. It's not like it was um, actual milk, but so I would pump or express colostrum and then we would suck it up in this little syringe and we would syringe it to him and he would lap it up like a dog, <laughs> basically. So um, if your baby is having a hard time latching, don't think you have to go straight to a bottle. It is a lot easier for them to latch onto a bottle right away um, compared to you, but if you don't necessarily you know, prefer that, then express some of your colostrum out and then syringe it to him. And we even did this the first few days that he was home too. And um, I know this doesn't seem like much, but their, their stomachs are so small. He would only take two or three of these and be full. The next thing I used and highly recommend if you are going back and forth between mom and bottle are these nipple shields. And they are a really thin let's see here they're a really thin plastic or silicone membrane sort of thing and this will fit right on top of you and it just gives them something a lot easier to latch on to so once my milk came in and it was I mean a little too much to just syringe it to him and his stomach was getting bigger and we would have to give him like 10 of these um, if he still had a hard time, I would use this and it was great. And some days he would be perfectly fine without it. And then other days he would like have a little bit of a regression where he would forget how to do it. And that's, um, the days that we use those. So I do really recommend these just to have as a contingency plan. We decided to go ahead and give Preston a pacifier and the one that he latched onto the best was this good old fashioned kind. I got like cuter ones, but he didn't really like them. So this was the one that he was able to go back and forth with really easily. 
I'm sure you've heard of these guys. These, this is a haka, and what it is is one piece. It's of silicone, flexible silicone, and as you feed your baby on one side, you suction this to the other side, and it catches your letdown, um, so it doesn't just like you know go into a pad and get wasted. You can catch it with this. Speaking of the uh, breast pads, I did not prefer the disposable ones. They were quite itchy, <laughs> so I recommend getting some reusable ones. These are microfiber with a um, water resistant outside. There is an Instagram that makes some of these that are so beautiful, and I will try and find a link to that um, account and list it below. So we, Preston's a little bit older now and we have been giving him bottles quite regularly as we're out and about or if my husband is, well my husband wakes up at 4 a.m. with him every morning just to be up for the day and he usually gives him his first bottle of the day and um, the bottle that worked the best for us, there were a few that he latched to, most of them he hated, but the key for us was the flow because even the slow flow nipples were way too fast. So the one that worked out the best for us was this Dr. Brown's one. It's the options one, which means you can use it with or without the vent. And it is the wide mouth one. I got this on Amazon, like a four or six pack or something like that. But the key is to get preemie nipples. So these are um, even slower than the level one, the slow flow. This is like even slower than the slow flow. <laughs> The pump I use is the Lansano. With my first, I used a Medela pump and it was too intense for me. Uh, I don't believe you need such severe suction to um, express your milk. I think it can come out quite gently. I mean, a baby doesn't suck that hard, so you know, your pump shouldn't either, <laughs> I guess. Uh, this one is a lot gentler for me. It has two-phase expression and um, several speed and intensity settings. It also is battery powered as well as a plug-in. And it's quite small, which I really like, and lightweight. So if, if I wanted to use the battery and carry it around with me around the house, I can. I haven't done that yet, but it is an option. And it's fairly quiet. If I, I plan on pumping at work when I go back to work in a couple weeks, and if I set this on a soft surface, like a towel or something, and kind of like wrap the towel around it, I can barely hear it, so. Now on with pumping the Lansano bags. There's a better option, and they are the Medela bags. So I don't like the Medela pump, but I do like their bags, and I like the Lansano pump, but I don't like their bags. And it's just a personal preference but these ones are so awesome these have been redesigned since i used them 10 years ago and i'll show you the difference they have a super thick let's go this way they have a super thick seal around the edges and look how thick the seal is on the bottom here all the way around and even around here. This is a double seal too. I know you can't quite see it, but there's one seal and two seals, but, and um, just really thick, sturdy. The plastic weight feels similar. This one's a little flimsier, if you can kind of tell as I wiggle them back and forth. This one has a little more substance, but the outside edge, now this is one of the better ones because it does have a thicker edge to it. Some of them have just like a tiny little edge that's um, sealed, but this one has slightly thicker, but I mean, it's not even close to the thickness of this seal. And around here, this one doesn't even really go up around. I mean, these come all the way to the edge. So there's just, you're just a little bit more prone to them leaking when you freeze them and then thaw them out. So I highly recommend the Medela bags. Another must have is a 32 ounce water bottle. This is on Amazon. I got mine from TJ Maxx. So I love this one because it locks so you can 
and it'll, I mean, it's totally leak proof. I recommend that because when you're breastfeeding in the middle of the night and you're super thirsty, you can just have this in bed with you and throw it around and at two in the morning you can kind of like fish around for it half asleep and it's not gonna leak all over your mattress. I also recommend the 32 ounce because you don't have to keep track of so many glasses or so many water bottles a day. With this, I know I only have to keep track of three, <laughs> so I know um, I can refill this twice and then be good. When I would just use like typical glasses or water bottles, I would have to drink like six or eight of them to get you know near 100 ounces of water, which is what I was aiming for. But with this, I only have to do it three times, so it's a lot easier to count. So as far as nursing apparel, I don't have too many nursing specific clothes. I have a couple nursing bras and that's it. Um, I use these tank tops from Walmart. They have formed cups and it's a fairly compressive material so I like that for postpartum. And I just take this and I can just pull it down. <laughs> I mean that's all you have to do. And I will just line it with one of these guys and that way I can just lift my shirt up and still be covered like all over here. That way like when you wear a nursing bra and just a shirt when you lift your shirt up and undo your bra your whole like stomach and back is exposed which if you have a cover it's no big deal anyway but i usually just nurse at home and i'm cold that way so i don't typically need a cover or anything but this keeps me covered having it as a tank top so i can just lift up my shirt and then pull this down and it's just as good as a like nursing bra that you like a casual nursing bra Speaking of nursing bras though, I do recommend getting one that is pretty. This one is absolutely gorgeous. You would never know this was a nursing bra. This is called the Ayla from the Dairy Fairy and it's sort of like a bralette in that it has this lace detail around the bottom. And the amazing thing about this is it's a nursing bra and a pumping bra. So it can undo up here at the top like a nursing bra but it also has the little holes for your pump flange to go into so you can nurse on one side and have the pump on the other or it can just be a hands-free pumping bra i love when i wear this bra it makes me feel so put together and i don't know just like like i know what's going on <laughs> so i do recommend getting yourself at least one like nice splurge um, nursing or pumping bra just to make yourself feel human. <laughs> now I will share a few of the things that I purchased and did not use. So one of the items are these little hot cold packs. So they have like the gel, little jelly balls in there and you can put them in the microwave and heat them up or you can put them in the fridge and they're cooling. And I didn't use these at all. You can use them, like if you get engorged, you can use the cooling one or if you're sore, or if you want to help milk flow, you can use the warm setting. I've used the warm setting a couple times, like as I've been pumping and things, and I don't know, it's, it's just not for me. So I didn't use that. I also got these little Suvi gel pads and they, I'm not sure if you actually put these in the fridge. No, it just says open pack, remove gel pad, and put it on your skin. <laughs> so you don't even have to refrigerate these, but the gel is just cooling, and um, they just stick on to you. I believe you can reuse them. Yeah, you can reuse them. Um, but I didn't end up using these, and I also got these um, nipple shells. And they basically just go over top. There's a little hole here for your nipple. <laughs> and they go over top so if you're like chapped or really sore or something like that, like not even your shirt will be touching you. And um, I didn't end up using that either. I, I've been pretty lucky. I haven't had any soreness, no engorgement, no chapped nipples or anything like that. So um, I didn't need to use any of those sort of like soothing type of things. I have a splinter. I've been out in the garden today. Okay. <laughs> 
So that is it for this video. I hope you found this information informative. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any suggestions, some like must have breastfeeding um, products, list them down below in the comments so other viewers can kind of get your input as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll chat later. Bye.